Hello everyone, this is Jasmina, and in this video I'm going to talk about the direct and indirect spirit again, and in more detail with a little bit more clarification than before. There are actually two different calendars of the direct and indirect spirit locations. The one that I'm talking about here is the Shrin Kong system, and this is used within the flying stars. And um, the other system is used within the six laws. And uh, my uh, Golden Dragon and Leaning Star videos talk about this more, especially the Leaning Star video. And I would recommend you watch those in addition to this because you treat them, you can actually use them in your house at the same time. You just have to know how to treat each piece. So mountains and water, uh, and we're talking natural water here mostly, uh, they can impart, impart really good energy on your house based on their locations, if they're in the right locations. And that's what we're going to discuss here, which are the right locations. And, and they do change with period. The calendar that the Xuancong system uses is the Xuancong two cycle, a period system where you have an upper cycle of periods one through four and a lower cycle of periods six through nine, and there's no period five. Each one, the upper and the lower cycle, both each one last 90 years. So it's a 180 year cycle, just like the flying stars 180 year cycle. So everything stays in sync. The current period is always Yang and this you will understand why I say this in the next few slides, because this will tell you what you need to see based on the period. So why do they divide them this way? It has to do with the her two combos. There's an inner ring and then there's an outer ring. And so the, the one, two, three, four is the inside. So it becomes one set. And the six, seven, eight, nine becomes the other set. Now, Yang stars, and right now we're in period nine in the Xuan Kong system. So uh, the Yang stars, which include six, seven, eight, and nine, they need to see yin sources. So they need to see mountains for you to receive their good energy. The yin stars, which are one, two, three, and four, in our current period, uh, they need to see yang sources. So they want to see a lake or a pond. Natural lakes or natural ponds are better, but you can put in man-made uh, ponds. A lake is pretty hard to do because they're usually quite big. Uh, but you cannot put in mountains. Mountains must come from nature. If you have a river, Sanho methods are better used to evaluate their feng shui than these, these types of um, indirect spirit and the flying stars and the, the Shren Kong, all of that. It really wants to have stiller water. Rivers, you really want to look at Sanho. And I have a whole bunch of Sanho videos. And I'll actually have some more in the future, too. So to receive the energy, what this means is water must be in an indirect spirit location and mountains in a direct spirit location. Adding water in a direct spirit location can cause some pretty significant problems. Natural water is fine. So what this means is if you see a mountain in a direct spirit location, and that will depend on what period we're in, which is a direct spirit location or water in an indirect spirit location, you will receive that positive energy. If a mountain or natural water is located in the wrong place, uh, you it doesn't really harm you. You just don't receive any good energy. Now there will always be a time when these mountains that were in the wrong place will become to be in the right place. And 
uh, right now we have only 20 years left of the current pattern. So in the not too distant future, everything will switch. So here is the pattern that we want to see today, that is in period nine. And this is the center of the chart would be centered on the center of your house. And typically you use a satellite view to be able to see exactly where things are. And, uh, and you would actually use the pie chart for the directions rather than this. It's just much easier to write it down this way than it is with the pie chart. So there are some locations that you want to see water. These are the indirect spirit locations and the direct spirit locations you want to see mountains. Now, in about 20 years, everything flips. So if it was water here, it'll be mountains here. If it was a mountain here, it'll be water. So everything flips. I think you can see this. If you have a mountain that spans a current location where you should see water and one where you see a mountain, let's just do southeast and south, then once we reach period nine, the one in the southeast now gives you energy and the one in the south doesn't, but that's okay. Mountains will not hurt you. You can also see that opposite, every place opposite for every, both cycles, if you have, you see you have mountains and water, they're always opposite one another. So if you have mountains on two sides of your house, diametrically opposed to each other, then you will always have a house that has a mountain to give you energy. And if you happen to have one of the four best special formations uh, that are activated, this would be a very good house long term. If you don't have a special formation, what do the, the, does the mountains do? A mountain in a direct spirit location will activate the sitting star in that sector of your house. If it's an untimely star, that's unfortunate. Uh, the, if that's true, you, you would probably want to block the view if you cannot activate a special formation. But if it's timely, you want to leave the curtains open. If it doesn't have a door, you want to leave the curtains open as much as possible on any window where you can see that mountain because uh, in, in that location that is, because then you receive that energy and it activates a good star. A water feature in, the, in one of its indirect spirit locations will activate the facing star. And again, preferably that facing star is timely. This one, if it's not in the right location, you may and you do not have a timely star, you may want to block it because this one uh, is more active, the water itself is more active, it's yang, so this can be a little bit more problematic. Mountains must be natural. And again, if you have them on opposite sides of the house and you have an activated special formation, specifically a combo 10, parent string, pearl string, or seven star robbery house, then these, if, when they're activated, what they do is they make all stars become timely for all periods. Then this is a fantastic long-term house uh, for health and relationships um, because the mountains activate the sitting stars and they're good stars if you have one of these formations. So this is good for health and relationships. If you're able to either have or place water in a golden dragon location, and again, you really need to watch my Leaning Star video to understand this, uh, then this house is also good for uh, long-term uh, for wealth, and this location will change every 20 years, the golden dragon location. So, but I'm also assuming you still have this activated, one of these activated special formations. So you can actually have a really fantastic house if you have mountains on opposite sides of your house because you can usually place water. 
Now, if you live in an apartment or a condo where you can't place water outside, it can be placed inside, but outside it's much more powerful. And of course, this pretty much means you have to own the house. Because um, if you're renting, I don't think your landlord will be particularly happy if you keep digging up their yard. So we are now in period nine. So you can place water in any one of these locations. And if uh, you do need to use the sun and moon arrival dates if there is an annual affliction in these locations, and East 2 this year has an issue. It has the Grand Duke. Um, and but you can wait till next year, which isn't very far off. You can do this all the way up to just before we transfer to period one. In general, you probably should fill this in after this date. Uh, if you've created one, if you really like it, you can leave it there and see if you if your luck changes. If it doesn't change, it, what it means is it's been there long enough that it's starting to act like natural water. And this is especially true if it can naturally refill by rainwater. And then I think you'll be okay. You, you can leave it there. Uh, then it doesn't do you any good, but it doesn't do you any harm. And if you like looking at it, then I think it's worthwhile to keep. The best location for wealth, that is to put water for wealth in period nine, is in North 2. And this comes from the Golden Dragon. However, if you have a, a horse in your year animal sign, this is not a good thing to do because this is where the rat is and you clash with it. So then you can choose one of these other locations. And um, you could even put it in North 1 or North 3 because those are not animal signs. But it's not going to have the same effect as putting it in North 2. It won't hurt, but it's not necessarily going to help. Uh, and you can do that if the uh, facing star in whatever these locations are is good, then it certainly doesn't hurt. I wouldn't put this in more than three spots because that can get overwhelming. And in fact, two, two places at most is better. And if you have, if you want to put water in just one of these areas, pick an area that is closer to one of your exterior doors. That is the one that leads ex immediately to the outside. The garage door is usually not very good because it goes through the garage and it, it doesn't have the same type of flow. But if it's like a back door or a side door or the main door, you can do it. And you can pick whichever one is closest to it. When we reach period one, now you can place water in the other sectors. You see there's no overlap between these two. And again, you would use the sun and moon arrival dates if there's an annual affliction present. And the best location for w putting in water for wealth in period one is south two, but not if you're a rat because you clash with that. And again, you can place it water in one of these other sectors if uh, you can't place it here. And again, if it's closer to a good door for you, uh, an external door for you, I should say, it, it'd probably be a little better because it allows more energy. And these are all good locations, but some are better than others. And I do talk about placing water for wealth in a lot more detail in my Leaning Stars video. Now, the effects of existing mountains and natural water, which are currently good, do not become bad when the period shift occurs. Uh, that is, the cycle shift occurs, I should say. Uh, and simply what will happen is that once we reach period one, the current good ones, they basically wane. It's not like being cut off. Uh, so it, it won't... For the mountains, it will never hurt you. And for the natural water, it doesn't hurt you either. Man-made water may become negative over time. But don't worry about mountains 
which have to be natural or natural water. If you've placed a water feature, like a pond, to activate a special formation, it can stay regardless of the direct and indirect spirit because this is what activates the special formation and this can't hurt you then because all your stars are timely. And so it's only going to activate the good part of, uh, of the star. So it's okay to leave it there if it is put there to activate a special formation. And that's the four ones that I talked about earlier. Using the six laws indirect spirit locations with the period star is likely to have a stronger effect for wealth than placing water using these general Schwen Kong indirect spirit locations that I just listed. Now you can watch my Leaning Stars video to learn more about how to do this, but you can still benefit from placing water even using the Schwen Kong direct and indirect spirit. So if one place just looks better, feels better, I would say use that. So that's uh, basically it. I'd like to thank you for watching. You can contact me here if you have any questions uh, or leave a comment. And this is LLC. I, I, maybe some people are confused. This is not capital I's. These are L's. And uh, you can also visit my ad-free website here. Thank you again for watching.